pray out with us together. We believe also that when we open up Scripture, that He is there in His words, and His presence is powerful. And we believe that when we share a meal with each other and with Him, and the bread and wine, He is promised and He is present. Many times we have to just believe this by faith, but every so often our eyes get open. And a God thing happens. We recognize that this is different. Jesus really was here. Praise be to God. I have this vision then of St. Stephanus being a place where conversations happen about Jesus, where strangers are welcomed and dying, and it's centered on Scripture. And our hopes and our confusions are employed. And all the time, we're believing that Jesus is there in those conversations. And they say, didn't our hearts burn with this? Our vision is connecting people with Jesus Christ and each other. I also believe there's another connection that, that is important for us to, to, to take seriously and to pay attention to. And that is the connecting of our mind and our heart. Now, as Jesus is on the road to Emmaus, certainly their minds were employed. Jesus is filling in some blanks and using reason and logic to, to arrive at a certain place where they can see a big design of God, salvation in, in the life and ministry, death and resurrection of Jesus. But they're also bringing their hopes and their confusions to that conversation so that their hearts are burning within them. And there's a connection now between what they're learning and what they're experiencing in life, there's a connection between mind and heart. Their hearts are burning within them. I have a vision of conversations with Jesus centered on the Word of God with people around meals where minds and hearts are connected. And their, their hearts were so burning within them that they had to go. They had to go. Now it was seven miles, I said, and I assumed that they, they went off and maybe jogged back. Let's say it took an hour or longer. They had to go. They go finally to the place, and they knock on the door, and they didn't even get to speak first, all that effort. Maybe they were too tired, maybe they were just winded, they couldn't speak first. But they knock on the door, the door opens, and they get spoken to. Those who were behind the door, the ones they were going to, also had something to proclaim. We've seen the Lord. We have too. Now this is a rally. This is the thing Christians rally around. They're at the threshold of the door. A Christian rally day. We've seen the Lord. We have too. This is the news. This is infinitely larger and more important than any news that can be on any road across the globe today, even if the headlines are that big. Whatever the Olympics give us as a message, whatever the Democratic platform is, whatever the Republican platform is, it pales, it gets dwarfed by this news. Jesus has risen from the dead. This is good news. This is gospel. Everything else pales. And this is what you and I, this morning, and every Sunday morning, we rally around. The, the, the people on the road to Emmaus didn't know it at the time, but they were living their first Sabbath day. The Sabbath got switched from Saturday to Sunday because of the importance of their resurrection. So every time we gather, we're rallying, and we're saying to each other, I've seen the Lord. I have too. All began with a conversation about Jesus. That welcome to stranger where scriptures were opened up, where their hopes and their confusion, their mind and heart was employed. They had a meal, and they discovered the gospel, the real news. May God's people here at St. Stephens be about those conversations about Jesus, and may we participate in those conversations with the full and certain knowledge of the promise that he is here and present, alive, in Jesus' holy name, amen.